it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Erin Condren haul video. This box is the new planners for 2022, and since I'm enjoying 2021 so much, I decided to continue, but I changed versions, which we'll see in a minute. So let's see what's in the box. Um, okay, so right on the top, I have the latest newsletter. It does have a 15% coupon, it says. The Dream Issue. So... We'll take a look at that after. And then it's got this nicely wrapped tissue with a sticker. There we go. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. We'll just take everything out of the box. So that's it for the box. So we'll do the planner last. But if you bought a new planner and you're like a rewards member, whatever, there were two free gifts with purchase. One was the... Clear glitter, I don't know what it's called, pen pouch or whatever. I have this same type of thing in the Hello Kitty, which is a velvet pouch, and I have a different clear glitter pouch, but I really fell in love with my little Hello Kitty thing like this because it's a great size for, you know, just several pens or pencils, and you can clip it on or elastic it onto a notebook or just put it in your purse or your backpack, and it just has just the right amount of space so it's not taking up a big old pencil bag thing. But that's what I was thinking when I got it. So it's just a little pen pouch, pencil pouch, it says. And it's super cute. And they work great. So this one has gold zipper. And it opens up really nicely. Let me take all the stuff out. So you can see there. Yeah, you can just really get into it. They're just great. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the packing in it for now. Until I go to use it. Which might be very soon because... I'm going on a trip next week after next. Okay, the other free gift was a ballpoint pen, and this is mid-century circles. And this appears to be just the peachy color. It's got gold trim, it's a twist to operate. Mid-century circles, but it's a nice little pen. It's not too heavy, it's not as weighty as the Vera Bradley ones, um, and not as light as the lug ones, so it's kind of in between, but it's a nice balance, very, very, I think it writes smooth. I haven't written with it yet, but we'll put that aside for now. The other thing I got, I got a, this one I bought, like, so those are the two freebies. Then I bought the 2.3 inch by 5.5 inch bookmark, believe. I'm all about positivity, you know, a very little tidbit, wherever you can get it, anything to you know, keep the light in your life, if you will. And I thought this would be a great bookmark for all of my planners and things, because it just clips right on. So you can use it for a book, you can use it for a planner, you can use it just to decorate the front of your planner, whatever, you just clip whatever page in there, and it, it just, believe, believe. So it's nice. Hi Kelly, you like that? Come on. <laughs> we just got back from the dog park, she had a ball. Okay. The next thing I got, I got a budget book. This is an undated kind of thing. You can use it how you want. It does come with a set of budget stickers. 80 pages, 5.7 by 8.25 inch. This is the exact same one I have already, but I'm gonna try and be better about planning my spending instead of just free spending because I don't wanna keep digging a hole. I wanna you know, pay off the credit cards. All right, and some other things. I have a house to plan and whatnot, but the main piece, the reason I made this order, the entire reason, was to get a new planner. And here's the thing. I bought a planner last year for this year. It was 18 month, and I bought the 18 month hourly. And here's what it looked like. So it's the regular size, whatnot. And the hourly look, okay, let me get one that doesn't have writing all over it. Okay, so hourly, it just looks like this. So you have the days of the week all spread out. Each month, of you, of course, have still... Oops, I have stuff in there. That's stickers from something else. <laughs> Unrelated. Okay. But that's, you know, so you have your monthly view, which I decorated up. And then behind that, you have all your weekly look at the hourly views. You also have a couple other pages, like... After your monthly view, then you have a sort of more detailed monthly look. You can use it as look forward, look back. You can use it however you want. 
And at the end of each month, you also have one lined note page before going to the next month. So that was what I have been using. And I did this custom cover. I love colorful layers. Okay, that's great. Now, if I was smart, I should have, could have done a different cover this time because they're interchangeable. I could have this cover and use it with whatever. So I wasn't thinking until I got this and I looked at it and I'm like, boy, was I stupid because look what I did. I ordered the exact same one again because I like it, which, so that's cool. And, but now I have two of the exact same ones when I could have had a different cover so I could start changing them up. So lesson learned. Okay, but let's look. And it says right on there, cover is interchangeable. Yeah, I knew that already. I just didn't think about it. You know, you live and learn. Hopefully you learn from my mistake, but there you go. All right, so things that it comes with for the planner. You get this ruler thing that pops out. It's sort of a frosted clear. It's about nine inches, just over nine inches. And it's nice. You can use it as a bookmark. You can use it however you want. Comes with this little accessory pack. Comes with a storage box. Let's see. Welcome to the family. We're so excited you've decided to invest in yourself by purchasing an Erin Condren Life Planner. There's no time like the present to reflect on what you want to accomplish, reset your goals, renew your motivation. This planner was intentionally crafted to help you get organized, achieve your goals, and reduce stress, leading to a more joyful, meaningful life through organization. Our team is committed to making this your most fulfilling year yet. Follow us on social to learn tips and tricks along the way, the EC team. Yeah, okay. This has, I really do, I like the colorful things. So there's the mid-century circles and the colorful. And this just has some things in here, ooh, ooh, stuff. We have a, a circle sticker. I don't know, I guess you could use that. Is it a sticker? I think so. And then you have a few of these um, courtesy cards, whatever you call them. You are capable of wonderful things. It has like a lilac with floral or lavender and then it's blank on the back so you could write a note to someone. You are always worthy and then that's the back, the mid-century circles like the ballpoint pen and the front. Then there's, I'm so grateful for you. And then the back is totally blank. So nice little cards, I'll add them to my pile of cards. I guess I should start carrying those around and giving them to people. Then we have a, just a little something from, so I guess it's like a gift label. And another gift label that just says enjoy and has two from, and it's actually shaped like that sort of medallion shape sticker. Oh, some coupons. 20% off your next purchase or share the savings with a friend. Yeah, so there you go. If you need a coupon, let me know. Hello, friend. Uh, our gifts to you. Circle label. Yep, yeah, that's this one. Compliment cards, gift labels, and 20%. Yeah, so that's all it says. Okay, so that all came with it. And then here's my twinsies. Silly me. Uh, but what else comes in? So you open it up, you have this wet erase notepad. So you can use that on the daily. You can make it like a year look. You can do it however. You have this kind of semi transparent sort of plastic page with a colorful, and then you have your title page. Right behind that, it's just a colorful quote page, decorative. Then you have your Big picture with your two-year calendar, 21 and into 22. So it goes from July of 21 to December 22, so 18 months. Ah. The next page is your 12-month or 12 slot. You can use it however you want, like maybe your monthly goals or um, plans, big picture. I haven't figured out how to use that yet for me. Blank note page, another decorative quote page, and then right into the month of January. So each month has a different color, and you'll have your monthly view. Now, I had the hourly before. I decided to go with the vertical planner this time. So there's my monthly detailed look. And then you go into the weeklies, and it's the vertical planner. So each day has a column, just like on the hourly, but it's not quite as regimented. So I can decorate a little more, I can use the space a little bit more flexibly, um, things like that. So I kind of wanted to just give this a try. I think this is gonna be the best fit for me 
honestly though, what I really just need is just the monthly views with like maybe one note page between each month because I don't tend to use the daily, weekly kind of thing. But I'm starting to, if you have it, you might as well use it. There you go. And you can see that the previous month here was in green. The current month is that blue color. So you got a February tab is pink. So there's your pink. You got again your monthly detailed look and then right into your weeklies. And again, you can see the previous month was still in the same week. So you can see even just at a glance that week changes over to the next month and into February. So that's kind of cool. Um, and each, it just goes on like that. So April's purple, May is like a peach color, June is like green color, July is a sort of deeper blue, August is yellow. I think these are the same colors they were before, which I like because then you have that consistency, like your mind just starts to say, okay, April is purple and you can find things faster. All right, so then you get to the very back of it and at the end of this, does each month have this? Yeah, each month has a couple of note pages at the back and then the very back just has a note tab, several pages of just lined paper and then it has a 2023 tab. So you have a, a couple of, pages where you can write a few notes for the following year. So as you do that, then you have some stickers that come with it. There's several pages here. Looks like three pages. Is that it? And then, no, four pages, because you have these label one look at things. And then, oh, what's this? More stickers. Customize your calendar with this, calendar with this enhanced sticker sheet year round heritage and awareness days and months and observances. I thought those were normally printed on the calendar, but maybe they've gone away from that. So there's a few extra labels. So you got a bunch of stickers. You have this one pocket that's built in, two-sided. You get a perpetual calendar with your life planner. Um, so there you go. This is a great way to have ongoing tracking of like your birthdays, um, for example because every year they're gonna be the same for people. Another blank wet erase and then the back. So what I was thinking going forward, I had originally thought I was gonna do the soft bound life planner because it would be a slicker, slimmer trimmer and I don't really put a lot of things in and out of it. But I thought that would be easier, especially because I'm on the go all the time. And this is kind of a bulky planner to carry around every day. Totally good, they do have a smaller size, but I decided to stick with this one since I have all of the covers and accessories to go with it. For example, I have this thing. It's kind of a neoprene cover, and then it has this slot, which if you haven't seen these before, your, your calendar fits right in there, and then you have some pockets on the front. You have a big slip, smaller slip, two small slips, two pen slots, and then you have this right here, and it cover, and it keeps everything inside. So if you're like me and sometimes you stick loose papers in there, it all stays together. And this gives you a kind of a protective thing. So when you put it in your bag, it's not getting a bunch of stuff jammed and your tabs aren't getting all bent and things like that. So I really like this, even though I haven't used it much. Um, so I, that's why I stuck with the same size. I thought, well, I have all these other accessories. It just made sense. The thing I also like about these spiral things, and these are things that you just learn by doing and seeing what works and what doesn't, is that you can put things in and out of them. Not only are the covers interchangeable, but you can see in my current one, I have a few extras thrown in there. I have these, um, pop, they pop out. It's a wet erase, but you have like a to-do list, and then on the back you have the days of the week. So as you're doing your planning, going from your monthly view to your weekly views, you can write down some key events so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth. So it's a great planning tool or maybe just at a glance, you can grab this and you know keep your shopping list on there and just grab that and go grocery shopping, things like that. Then this other one is a packing list. It's just sort of a general packing list with stuff on the back. So really great for travel planning. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it in there. This, you've already seen the views. In the back, I also have this other piece that you can buy separately. And this also can clip in and out. So you have sticky notes and note things right there at the ready in your planner. And they don't get all mucked up because they're, you know, they're protected back here behind the folder page. Now, as I transition, 
I, I like having these folder pages because again, I'm always putting loose papers in there, um, things like that. So even though this comes with one, I'm thinking maybe I can use those add-in tabs and I rip this out of here, put the tabs on it, and then I could use it to the each carry it forward until it dies. So I might do that. We'll come back to it if I do. But pretty much the same. So these are pretty much the same. And this is not quite as thick of, as this. I'm not, I'm not sure why it's so much thinner. And it's not just because I have that thing in the back. So I guess the hourly just takes up that much more somehow. Although, oh, never mind. <laughs> it's 18 month versus 12 month, that's why. So this was July of 20 to December of 21. And this one is January to December of 22. So there's no overlap. So I tried to beat down the redundancy of my effort. So there you go. All right. Speaking of redundancy, here's the other life lesson learned for life planners. Oops. All right. So if you've been watching my planning videos, you'll know that I also bought the pocket planner or pocket one. So this is a monthly view. And then behind each monthly view, you do have the weekly view. So you kind of have it in this format, which is great because you can write detailed things each month. You also have a big picture kind of thing, your detailed page, if you will. And then I added tabs so I can quickly go to the current month, you know, May, June, etc. very easily. There's July. And I did not decorate it because there's just not a lot of room. The reason I didn't go with this as my sole primary, because this would actually be right up my alley in the past, is because there's just not enough room on any given day to write all the little things you need. Um, yeah, so it turned out to be not my optimum thing. And I'm constantly having to, like every few days, sit down and sync my calendars. And I've been bit by that, by not syncing it and thinking I had something that I didn't or vice versa, so anyway. Lesson learned, having one and only one and making it your main and saving yourself all the redundant effort is a very good thing. So that's my big lesson. And that's really the end of this haul. So I'm just going to go ahead and sync my calendar and start decorating this one in the near future. Probably not today. Um, and hopefully I'll get that on film for you just to share because, you know, it's kind of fun to see how people decorate their stuff, give you ideas and things like that. So anyway. Hope you're doing great. Have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.